sugar hacks. That's what we're going to talk about tonight. Uh, the things that you can do to make sure that your sugar intake is at a more normal level. So hey everybody, I am CJ Johnson and my passion is helping people who are over the age of 40 look and feel their best. A little bit in a tussle tonight. I just got off the pickleball court and let me just adjust my audio here just a little bit. I'm gonna turn this down just a little. Okay, hopefully we're not spiking quite as much there. Cool. Alrighty. Awesome. Well, I hope that you're having a good evening tonight and that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about some of those great sugar swaps that you can make so that you are not um, getting all the inflammation and the weight problems and everything that goes along with sugar. So let's go ahead and let's get right to it. There we go. That's a picture of me. I was 250 pounds. How do you like that? Some people have find it really hard to believe. Sometimes I do too. That picture is from when I was 38 years old and I wore a size 20. I'm now 55. I'm going to celebrate my 55th birthday next month. And uh, I managed to maintain that weight loss now for uh, what? Almost 15 years? So uh, it can be done. You can definitely do it. And some of that is by making sure that you swap some sugar. So I know I'm not going to get out of that. That's healthy sugar swaps. But so here's a couple of sugar facts that you need to know. Whenever you're looking at labels and hopefully you read labels, um, sh sugar can be really sneaky. So look for things that end in O-S-E. And when I say sneaky, I mean the fact that it can be really hard for you to see what sugar is because it's called such a variety of different names. So anything with the OSE is going to let you know that there's sugar. And when you turn over and you read that label, if there is OSE in the first five ingredients, my suggestion to you would be put it back. Just skip it. Just let it go because it is not, um, it's not a healthy product. Too much sugar in it. The other one is sugar alcohols, and we see a lot of those today. If you see things like xylitol, that's a big one that's being used. Sugar alcohols are still sugar, but as an example, if there's 26 grams and it's all sugar alcohol, most dietitians will say cut that in half to get the true sugar effect, um, the hypoglycemic effect, so like 13 grams of sugar for something that is really 26. So it cuts it, but it doesn't completely negate it. So just a couple of sugar facts. So now let's get into those sugar swaps. What can you do to swap? Okay, so first of all, one of the big things to look at is yogurt. If you pick up a small carton of pre-packaged yogurt, chances are it has somewhere around 26 to 30 grams of sugar, and that's the equivalent of a lot of candy bars. Um, if you get the low-fat kind, those tend to be full of aspartame, and as an artificial sweetener, that's just plain not good for you either. So one of the best swaps is if you like yogurt, take plain yogurt, and then drop in some fresh berries. Now, if you don't happen to have fresh berries, perhaps it's winter time, uh, you can take berries from the freezer and just throw them in the microwave for 30 or 40 seconds. They get nice and warm and they leave a little bit of juice behind, stir it up inside of your yogurt, and you have a great treat, a healthy breakfast, without all the sugar. Granola bars, that's another one. If you look, we have turned granola bars into something that was previously pretty healthy, into something that is just not good for us. So if you are looking at granola bars, what I want you to do is try and make your own granola bars. I'm going to put a recipe uh, in the comment section a little bit later. It's one of my favorite recipes. It's a no-bake recipe. You have to do a little bit in a saucepan, but you don't have to bake them in the oven. And they are unbelievably tasty. They are super duper good. And what I forgot to do is while I was getting all my tech ready was actually to log into Facebook. So give me a second. But these granola bars are absolutely amazing. In fact, I got the recipe from a five-star uh, resort up in Wisconsin. They are super tasty, very easy to make, 
and a lot healthier for you. Plus you can control the ingredients and you can do a few different things with it. Um, that sort of that sort of thing. So by the way, if you do have any questions, make sure that you put them down below and I will get to them. So granola bars. Hey John, how are you this evening? Hope you're having a good night. Give me a little thumbs up there. Okay. So next one, next swap condiments. It's barbecue time, right? And I'm sure you don't go to a barbecue where you don't see relish and, and mustard and ketchup. Condiments are a no calorie uh, or not a no calorie and no nutrition type of food. And we are so much better off if we use spices on our food. So spices and rubs. And it's that time of year where you hopefully have some fresh spices that you can choose from that are just wonderful. I had some cilantro last night that was super, super tasty. So instead of condiments, swap on some spices. It'll bring up the flavor in whatever it is that you're cooking. And if you're cooking meats on the grill, it's just a much better alternative for you. Salad dressings. If you want to see sugar, turn over the back of a salad dressing label and read it. Not only is it packed, just chock full of sugar, packed with sugar, it also has a lot of ingredients that you're not going to be able to pronounce the name. And my thing is, if you can't pronounce the name, don't eat it not good for you. Okay. So you can make some really easy and simple salad dressings. There's tons and tons of recipes out there. One of my favorites, and I'll put a link in it down below. I, I make it with chia seeds. So chia seeds, a little bit of olive oil, some apple cider vinegar, uh, some salt, some pepper, and a little bit of lemon. Stir that all up and then the chia seeds get gelatinous and they absorb some of that oil. So when you go and put it on a salad, you just kind of spread the chia seeds throughout the salad and that way you get a taste of dressing in every bite without all the additional calories that you typically get in uh, in in salad dressing by eating salad dressing. So make your own salad dressing instead of the store-bought. Another big one is sweet sugary drinks. I think we all know how much sugar Coca-Cola has in it, but this time of year we're hot, we're outside. I just got done playing pickleball myself this evening. We're outside and um, perhaps we're drinking Gatorades and sport drinks and things like that. And those are just loaded with a sugar. If you're going to use a hydrator, I recommend something that doesn't have sugar in it, an electrolyte hydrator. But a great substitute for that is a soda stream. Uh, we have a soda stream at home and soda streams claim to fame is that people who use one drink about 40% more soda. I can definitely tell you that's true for both me and my husband. Ever since we purchased a soda stream, which is several years ago, we drink way more water, just tons and tons of water. So it's also very economical and, and extremely environmentally friendly because you're using that same bottle over and over and over again and the carbonators get replaced, they get recharged. So look at a soda dream and stream instead of the sugary drinks. Peanut butter. Turn over a jar of something that's not natural peanut butter and you're going to see a lot of sugar inside of your peanut butter. If you're going to eat peanut butter, and frankly the jury's a little bit out on peanuts because peanuts are can be kind of a dirty food just in terms of the pesticides that are involved in growing them. If you're going to eat peanut butter, you're much better off eating a peanut butter and almond butter that has either been blended and you're getting it that way, it's just plain peanuts, or you're actually blending it at the store. Even our little grocery store, it's not a health food store, it's a, it's a Rayleigh's, just a western chain. At Rayleigh's, you can make your own almond butter or peanut butter. Another great alternative is sunflower butter. So those are really nutritious things that don't have any of the sugar. So you get a lot of protein without a lot of sugar. Now what's peanut butter if you don't have a little bit of jelly along with it? Another food that's typically loaded with sugar is jelly. Just read, again, read the label, see what's in it. You're much better off getting the Simply Fruit, uh, the, the low, no sugar types of jams where it's just all fruit. It's much better for you, much less sugar. And then lastly, you probably don't know this one, but almond milk nut milks can have a lot of sugar. Now I know you say, oh CJ, there's the sweetened kind and there's the unsweetened kind. Well, you're right. But if you read the label on the unsweetened kind, most of the unsweetened um, almond milks 
have sugar in them. It's super easy to make your own almond milk. You can do that. Uh, again, I'll put a recipe in the links down below. Uh, very easy to do. You can buy the almonds at bulk. You can make it as you need it and that way it's fresh. It's a great non-dairy uh, alternative to having milk and you eliminate the sugar by making your own almond milk. So those are my big sugar swaps. Um, have you got any sugar swaps that you really like? Is there anything that you have substituted and substitute regularly? Put it down in the comments section below. While we do that, I want to send you something free. You don't always get free in this day and age, right? So these are 25 tricks to staying fit without feeling overwhelmed. So they're my best weight loss tips. They're the ones that have helped me to maintain this weight loss for such a long period of time. You can get that by going at agewellwithcj.com slash 25 tricks. So I'm not seeing any questions down below. I'm here every Tuesday night. I have something different each and every week that is going to help you get fit and stay fit, especially designed for the person that is over 40. In the meantime, if you do have any questions, you can leave them. I always monitor this Facebook page and I put lots of motivationals and things like that here. So I'm on this page quite a bit. Go ahead and leave me something in the comments below and I will make sure and get your questions answered. Until next Tuesday night, together we can train smart, live bold, and age well. Good night, everybody.